I know how hard it was to do what Connecticut's governor and legislature did after Sandy Hook. So I am not here to make promises I can't keep. I am here to tell you I will use every single minute of every day if I'm so fortunate enough to be your president, looking for ways that we can save lives, that we can change the gun culture. It is just too easy for people to reach for a gun to solve their problems. It makes no sense. And we can do this consistent with the Second Amendment. We can do this with the support of responsible gun owners. And that is exactly what we will do. I'm raising it everywhere I go because we need a national movement. The gun lobby is the most powerful lobby in Washington. You can talk about Wall Street, drug companies, insurance companies, big oil. They're all powerful, don't get me wrong. Nobody is more powerful than the gun lobby because they have figured out how to intimidate elected officials at all levels who basically just stop thinking about this problem because they're too scared to stand up to the NRA. That's why what happened here in Connecticut really needs to be a model to stand up and then fight for what you have done politically and convince a majority of people to stay with you. That's what we have to do in Washington and nationally. We have to turn this into a voting issue.